what's going on guys it's bean or robbie or whatever floats your boat i really don't mind and today i just want to quickly say you're going to be watching a 51 and 3 game on fringe of domination i'm going to start off using the icr but then swap it out to the vmp it's going to be cool but anyway guys today i want to talk about like my thoughts on the, on black ops 3 so far now i'm going to like talk about weapon balance and kill streaks well score streaks the maps the game mode all that cool stuff so the first thing I want to talk about is weapon balance. Now, I actually have been enjoying Black Ops 3 as a whole, especially the weapon balance. Now, I really cannot say one weapon dominates this game, like Ball of Duty, ASM1 Warfare, you know, like ASM1, Ball dominated that game. But no, this game is completely different. I really don't think there is a dominant gun. I think if there is a dominant gun, it's the M887. And the best thing is, you only unlock that at level 55. So unless you don't prestige or permanently unlock that, there's really no dominant gun. And I'm really enjoying that. All of the, all the um, SMGs are balanced. I can feel use for every single SMG. I could use every SMG and think this is actually quite good. Unlike Advanced Warfare, where if you weren't using the SM1, you were pretty much screwed if you had an SMG on. Unless you were really good at using it. So that's one thing I really like about this game. And especially like. There are no. Every weapon class feels useful as well. Like on Advanced Warfare. I know I'm comparing this to Advanced Warfare. Because it was the last Call of Duty. But like on Advanced Warfare. For example. The snipers were useless. But on this game, the snipers are pretty good. I'm enjoying sniping. Same as SMGs, same as assault rifles, shotguns. They're all useful for their own unique ways. And that's why I think Black Ops 3 has done really well so far. Another thing I want to talk about is the score streaks. The score streaks are a bit iffy, right? Let's start off with the non-lethals. The UAV, the counter UAV, and the hater, and the power core. Not too sure about the power core, but the UAV, counter UAV, and hater... I really don't like what Black Ops 3 has done to them. Okay, so the first thing is UAV literally lasts 20 seconds, and that's if it doesn't get shot down. And I understand UAVs should be able to shut down. Same as counter UAVs. They both last really short, but they can get shot down as well, which is just stupid. I think they should last a lot longer. I think they should last double the amount of time. I think it should last 40 seconds instead of 20 seconds, for a fact. <laughs> Did you see me punch that guy? Anyway, I think it should last um, 20 seconds instead of 40 seconds. Uh, I think it should last 40 seconds. But the hater lasts the same amount of time, like 20 seconds, something like that. It's like not a lot longer. I don't even, It might not even be longer. But anyway, 20 seconds is just ridiculous, especially for the hater. The hater should not only last longer, but one should not be able to get shot down it only takes three rockets to shoot down a hater which only lasts about 20 seconds anyway it is stupid i don't know what went through treyarch's head i can understand right uav and counter uv i can kind of understand you know like uav spams probably can get annoying but the hater they have ruined the hater in this game i am not even tried to use the hater. I could get the hater if I wanted to. Quite, a, like, a couple times. Like, but really? I don't want to use it. I don't want to waste a score streak on something which will literally last 20 seconds. That's if it doesn't get shot down. Same as the Wraith. The Wraith should take two rockets for a fact. Like, not one. For a start. And it should have, like, an extra flare or something to get rockets away. Because it gets a... Sh I shoot down wraiths like nothing i literally unless i get unless i caught off guard like i can't or i haven't got a launch on my class i shoot down wraiths as they're coming in that's no word of a light they're so easy to shoot down because i literally shoot it down i'm locking on as it's flying in and i take it down as it gets in and it's just so easy to take it down and i kind of feel sorry for people who run wraiths because i don't know why they do it Unless people are, unless they're not, no one's packing launchers, and that's going to be rare if no one on the other team is packing launchers. The Wraith will do work then, but the chances of that happen are pretty slim. But yeah, the Wraith can get you a couple kills, but not as much as it should. 
Onto the Hellstorm missile. Pre. I've actually been getting, I don't know if they buffed it because I seem to be getting more kills of the Hellstorm in the last couple of days since the update. So I think they might have updated it. Which would be quite good if they did because it does need a buff. Because it was so dominant in the beta that pretty much they just weakened it to nothing. As a YouTuber I like to call, um, a sorry to fun, uh, he calls it the cool summer breeze missile. So that's kind of what it's been in the full game. The beta is insane. But it seems like every gun or everything that got nerfed after the beta is now getting buffed. I think they nerfed everything too much. But anyway, on to the wraps. The wraps. Why did they make it so that you could shoot down the deploy ship? Usually, when I call in the wraps, one of the deploy ships always get destroyed. No word of a lie. And they're so easy to destroy as well, the wraps. The reps should be a bit uh, stronger. Or at least target the enemies better. Because I see wraps just rolling into the walls. Whereas, they're supposed to be the substitute for dogs. But you know, you see dogs on Black Ops 2, they were just sprinting. They knew where you were. The raps just blindly go into the wall. You can hear them from a mile away. They're like Formula 1 cars. They're like... <laughs> like, damn. And they're not even going fast. And they blindly go into the wall. They get kills, yeah, but not that much. If you saw my Black Ops 3 stats um, video for Prestige 2, you'll see that... I've got nine uses of the wraps, and so far they only get me an average of 2.8 kills. And they're like a 1300 score streak. It's ridiculous. But anyway, I'm going to stop going on this rampage now. I'm going to move on to the maps. The maps are pretty good. I don't think there are any maps which I hate. Like, like Stormfront from Ghosts. Or like, I don't know, um, Instinct from Advanced Warfare. You know, maps like... Maps where you just hate. There are no maps which I hate. There are a couple maps which I don't like. For example, Exodus I don't really like. Um, I don't really like Havoc. Sometimes I actually do alright on Havoc. But for the majority I don't really like Havoc as a map. But sometimes I can do good on it. But there are, there are no maps which I think are amazing either. There are no maps which I think... Oh, quick, pick that. The only map I might feel that way about is Combine. Just because it's got, it's probably the map with the most action. Either Combine or Infection are my two favorite maps. But there's still nothing like Nuketown. I know I don't. I know Nuketown is in the game, right? I love Nuketown, but I don't know why. For some reason, I pre-ordered the game from. I pre-ordered it from local store, but still didn't get the game, the uh, Nuketown. So it's pretty stupid. But I really don't mind because they're gonna release it anyway. They're gonna release Nuketown for free. Anyway, in a couple months. But anyway, guys. Yeah, the maps are kind of okay. They're average. They're alright. None of them are too extraordinary, but none of them are really that bad. Okay, guys, so now I want to talk about a couple of things which I really think that they should improve. So one, the suppressor, I think, needs to get a bit of a buff. I use my suppressor on the VMP. I can't notice it too much, mainly because with a weapon like the VMP, you're so close. Usually, it's just you can't even notice it. I'm talking about the suppressor on the like KN44, the ICR. I like to run suppressors. I've always used suppressors. And now the fact that they've nerfed it so hard, it's kind of annoying. So now I always run long barrel as well as a suppressor. And I find it actually quite useful. It really it kind of cancels out the thing. I still think it's weaker even with long barrel on but at least it's a decent cal cal um, cancellation and it's an alright substitute but it does use up in a um, one of your pick 10 slots and it's alright because it keeps you off the radar and that's what I like to do. I like to stay off the radar. Also specialists. How I feel about the specialists is kind of weird. Because we've got specialists, I like using the weapons. Like, my favourite is the scythe. But I would honestly prefer the game if it didn't have the specialist weapons. If it just had abilities, that would be alright. You know, if you just had vision pulse. Or if you just had kinetic armour and, like, overdrive, rejack. It's alright. But, the, like, a minigun at your hand, the explosive bow and arrow, the tempest gun, the gravity spikes. I hate the gravity spikes, it's so annoying. I just feel like 
the game would be a little bit better without them. But then again, I like using them when because they're in the game. You can't do anything about it. They're not obviously not going to remove them. I like using the scythe because it's already in the game. But I would prefer it not to be in the game. Also, my favorite kill streak is the Cerberus and the Talon. Those two kill streaks are actually pretty good. Like the Dragonfire from Black Ops Two wasn't very good, um, but it's pretty good in this game. You know, the Talon pretty nice kill streak, very easy to use, and I just think that the Cerberus is just a little tank. It's better than the AGR in my opinion. I think the AGR is the best kill streak. The Cerberus is the best kill streak in the game, because the higher kill streaks just get shot down. Like I've tried out the rap, like I've got the raps. I've seen people use like the only kill streak, the only high kill streak that I think is worth getting at the moment is the GI unit. And if you think about it, the GI unit was useless in the beta and it got buffed, and now it's the pretty much probably the best kill streak in the game if you can actually get the damn thing. But anyway, guys. This is coming to the end of the video. I do hope you enjoyed the video. This whole thing was kind of unscripted, by the way. If you couldn't tell, I was just going off on little tangents. Unscripted. I just thought it'd be fun to talk to you guys. And I'm going to be uploading daily as well, hopefully. Like, I'll try my best, obviously. And my Road to Commander will continue, by the way. So, guys, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. I'll much appreciate it. And subscribe to make sure you don't miss any of my videos. And as always, guys, have a nice day. I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Oh. I'm going to so tell Storm that. As soon as he comes back on, I'm going to tell him 51 of 3, bitch. One shot.